In the small town of Greenfield, where the sun often played hide-and-seek with the clouds, there lived a seven-year-old boy named Tim. Tim had a mop of curly hair that bounced as he ran, and a smile that could light up the darkest room. His father, Mr. Adams, was his hero, a tall man with kind eyes and a laugh that echoed through their home. Every Saturday, Tim and his dad would play soccer in their backyard, a tradition that Tim cherished deeply. One particular Saturday, the sky was a clear blue, and the air was filled with the scent of blooming flowers. Tim was especially excited because his dad had promised to teach him how to curve the ball like the professional players do. They set up two makeshift goals and started playing, passing the ball back and forth, with Tim trying to imitate his dad's skilled moves. As they played, Tim noticed his dad was not his usual energetic self. He seemed to be struggling for breath after each pass. Concerned, Tim asked if he was all right, but his dad just smiled and said he was fine. They continued playing until suddenly, Mr. Adams clutched his chest and collapsed onto the grass. Tim's heart raced, and his hands trembled. Panic surged through him as he saw his father lying motionless on the ground. For a moment, he was frozen, unsure of what to do. But then, something remarkable happened. Tim remembered the calm voice of his school teacher, Mrs. Parker, who had taught them what to do in an emergency. Taking a deep breath, Tim rushed into the house, his little legs carrying him faster than they ever had before. He grabbed the phone, his fingers dialing the numbers he had practiced in class. Hello, police. My dad, he's not waking up. We were playing soccer, and he just fell. He has asthma. Please come quick. We live at 42 Maple Street, Greenfield. The operator's voice was calm and reassuring, telling Tim help was on the way. Tim ran back to his dad, holding his hand and talking to him, telling him that everything would be okay, that help was coming. It felt like an eternity, but soon, the sound of sirens filled the air. The paramedics arrived and took over, giving Mr. Adams the medical attention he needed. Tim watched, wide-eyed, as they worked on his dad, and after what seemed like hours, his dad finally opened his eyes. Relief washed over Tim, and tears streamed down his face as he hugged his dad. Mr. Adams was taken to the hospital for further treatment, and Tim rode along, never leaving his dad's side. The doctors praised Tim for his quick action, saying that he had saved his dad's life. The news spread quickly through Greenfield, and Tim became a little celebrity, his bravery the talk of the town. A few days later, the police officers visited Tim at his home. They presented him with a certificate of bravery and a small medal that shone like a star. Tim felt proud, but more than that, he felt grateful that his dad was safe and recovering. From that day on, Tim was known as the boy who saved his dad's life. He had shown courage beyond his years, and his story reminded everyone in Greenfield that heroes come in all sizes. And every time Tim looked at his medal, he remembered the day he became his own hero.